We're going to be making paper and <laughs> we're going to be using old recycled paper to make new paper. And the first thing we're going to do is you want to think about your paper like paint because the colors that you choose um, are going to mesh together to mix new colors. So I've sorted through and got some blues. Now my yellows are all the same. My blues are different. So they're going to end up being kind of a mixture of what they look like now. It'll be interesting to see. Will these dark blues completely overpower the light blues? Or would the light blues be able to lighten the dark blue a little bit overall? So you wanna make sure that you're ripped into some teeny tiny little pieces. So look through your scraps and if they look small but they're really just folded up, then you need to pull those out and rip them up. And then we wanna fill a little cup and um, you wanna fill a little cup with your paper. Now that I've got my paper, now I'm gonna choose one of my colors to start with. I'm going to dump it in my blender and I'm gonna fill two cups with water. Put the top on my blender. Get ready for a loud noise. We're gonna blend this up. What we're doing now is making the pulp. And you can see how the paper is blended up pretty small. I think I'll go one more time. All right, I'm gonna take out the blade and pour it into my cup. And there's our first color. Here's my yellow pulp. We have a tray and it could be a different sort of tray. You could be using a paint tray or a blue tray and your frame, your paper making frame will be over the top. So we're gonna be using cookie cutters. Whichever side you put down onto your screen will be the shape. So like this is a plain circle. If you want the plain circle, then you need to have that facing down. If you want the bumpy circle, you want that facing down. So I'm going to choose um, just one to start with, but I want to place it somewhere where there's room to eventually do two. So I'm going to kind of put it over in the corner. I'm going to squeeze the end of my turkey baster, pop it into my pulp, and let go. And there I have some. Sometimes it gets clogged, and that's okay. Um, but I'm going to just press that into there. And if it were to get clogged, um, I would just kind of stir it around and try again. So I'm going to put some blue in that corner. And now I'm gonna try for some yellow. And do you guys know what happens when yellow and blue mix? Um, they make green, right? So I could even try a spot where I'm gonna mix both of those on here, see what happens. But really, I'm just painting with my paper pulp in here and kind of layering it on top of each other. And it's gonna be two-sided, so you'll be able to see some colors on one side, some on the other. We'll see how well they mix, if they do or not. Let's see, I will pull that off there. Cool. And now I'm gonna try for my square. I'm gonna start with yellow this time. And you wanna have a good coat around everything. So I've got plenty of pulp. If it's too thin, it might rip, um, but it should be okay either way. So I've squeezed all the extra pulp out. I'm gonna remove this. I've got a little room. I could go for it and see if I can fill in a couple more. And now for the tricky part. Um, I'm gonna take this extra screen and lay it directly over. I kind of have it looped here because these are still kind of fragile. You can mess them up if you knock them. So I'm gonna lay this straight down on here and I'm going to press lightly. You, we can use a sponge, you probably just honestly use your hand, but we can use a sponge 
and press into it. And what we're doing is we're pressing out all that extra water. And you can squeeze that out. Probably better to do it straight over the frame instead of straight into your paper. Okay, now I'm gonna carefully take this off. Cool. So now you wanna make sure that you have your name on everything. So since I have four um, papers, I'm gonna write my name four times on this tiny strip of paper. And I'm gonna rip them and stick them on. And these will peel off later, but they'll stick on here long enough to where when they're drying, um, we'll know they're yours. Okay, so my little babies have all their names. I know they're gonna be safe. So now we're gonna take a felt, little blanket for my babies, put them on here, and um, we're gonna flip it over. So what we'll probably do is, I'll probably just have you bring it up to me and at a different spot and we'll do it there. But we're just gonna give them a little massage, make sure they're very comfy on their blankie. There goes one. Oh, there they're coming. Come on, baby. Oh, here comes another one. Uh-oh, he's half and half. Okay, I'm lucky he didn't rip. Oh, there's my babies. Okay, they're on their blankie. Their names are on the other side. They're going to be safe. The next kid, I'm going to stack their blankie on top of yours, and we're going to let them all dry. I've got enough on here. I could go back and do another round. So if you want to make, oh, see, I just ripped that. If you want to make a couple more, I'll try to smush it together. Um, you can. And in paper making, these have a funny name. They're called the cooch sheet. 